Hey Parker, it's June 10th. I'm gonna open this with a quote that summarizes my feelings on art because I was reading a book and I found a quote that I like that actually summarizes my feelings on art. The quote is from Eleanor M. Park by Rainbow Rowell. The quote goes, Eleanor was right. She never looked nice. She looked like art. And art wasn't supposed to look nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. Today we will not be continuing the discussion on what is and isn't art. Instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna be upbeat and happy, and I'm going to say how much I love art museums. So the art museums I have the most experience with are the ones at the Smithsonian, which are lovely and I love them, and they're like, I love them. I go there like once a year at least. One of the amazing things about art is that the vast majority of the time it's kind of free. I'm not talking about getting something like custom done or getting like a commissioned piece. I'm talking about like the great works of like Van Gogh and Michelangelo and everyone. They're in museums and we can just go to them and see them. Or I mean I, I can't really see the Mona Lisa because it's kind of far away but like I can like google a high-res picture of it. And so many museums are run like purely on donations and state and federal and other government funding and like it blows my mind that this much stuff is just free. I'm one of the people who like I love museums like there is nothing more interesting than me to like go walk through a like a museum like a dusty old museum and just like look at things. Yeah I love museums and I really wish I could go to more of them more often. But going back to the Rainbow Row quote, which is amazing. Like that snippet is just a very accurate description. It, it, like I feel like it gives a good description of art as well. Like it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to make you feel things, whatever those things are that's up to you or the artist and the artwork but you know there's that and so for me the one of the greatest works of art that I have ever seen personally or the one that made me feel the most was I've mentioned it before but Ai Weiwei's Wall of Names another great one was uh, Yoko Ono's performance piece where she um, allowed people to come up and like do whatever to her I actually saw that with um, parent of mine and they were very confused and I was like it's modern art like what are you what are you gonna do I don't know what's going on so what and I feel like modern art definitely has the best effect on making me feel things which might be why I like it so much um for example every time I go into the Hirshorn there's always like some dark hallways and like a lot of multimedia presentations and it always leaves me feeling a little bit unsettled and worried and confused I don't get those same emotions from like renaissance art and other like impressionist art like I get awe and amazement and joy from those I get confusion and terror and confusion from modern art and so I really just maybe the type of art you like comes down to the type of feelings you want to feel like for example I like impressionist because it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel like Ooh, look at all these things look at all these pretty colors like one of my favorite things about impressionist artwork is the crazy palettes that they use and the nonsensical palettes that they use but with modern art especially performance art or a lot of it anyway I feel confused and I like to feel confused once in a while just because it's like I don't know so Parker uh, I also really like sculpture like I do like sculpture a lot because but one of the things I don't like about sculpture is like I like to touch things. Like when I go into a store and I'm looking for clothes, I like I have to touch the fabrics just because I need to know what they feel like and if they'll feel weird on my skin. And so like when I go to a art museum with sculptures and sometimes I would like to touch the sculptures, but of course you can't touch the sculptures. And with a painting like there's not so much of like the temptation to touch the things because I know like oh it'll probably feel like paint. So this didn't have much of a point, but uh, so I'll see you later, Parker. Uh, DFTVA, au revoir, bye.